someone who always speaks his mind and is joining us now to kind of look at what continue to be the rapidly changing sands of political discourse in this country is our mate Martin Bomber Bradbury. Bomber, how are you, comrade? Kia ora, comrade. Uh, welcome, welcome. A great, great morning. Thanks for having me on. Um, look, look, I just want to start out because I found, found Michael Goldwater interesting. A little bit, practically, but that's good. And he enjoyed, we enjoyed sparring a little bit. But, but he comes back and it comes back always to the emperor has no clothes. If the emperor has no clothes, I think we've seen Hipkins yesterday and Luxon on Sunday rapidly trying to find someone, some to put on, or at least redress the problems they've got connecting with the public. Are they both trying to out kind of, I don't know, bread and butter or middle class each other? Well, I think that that's where the vote is, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, uh, people are going to be making those decisions this year in, in, at, at a time, I think, economically of great anxiety. Uh, a lot of new home, first-time home buyers walking off. Uh, uh, well, how many? Do we have figures on that? Uh, well, I, 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 I think that they're expecting something along the lines of 60% of mortgages rolling over this year. So that's a lot of first-time uh, home borrowers who'll be walking off very, very Oh, no, OK, Martin. See, I'm going to haul you up here, buddy. So we yep. don't know that a lot of people are walking away with mortgagee sales. It's a prediction. Oh, oh we, no, no, no. We, we haven't seen... We haven't, no, let's be very clear. There has not been any spike on mortgagee sales okay. because yeah. people have had very low interest rates. That transition process is going on this year as they churn over. And people will suddenly be needing to find a couple people of might suddenly be to... Martin. It's a prediction. Yeah. Oh, they well, might well, suddenly well, be, if, if, not if, will. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, well. If they're coming off, if they're coming off very low interest rates, walking into very steep ones, they will be paying more. Yeah. Yeah. All and right. So I think that you, you. So 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 you have you have anxiety with people who are first time home buyers. You have uh, further ongoing economic anxiety, particularly people who are in tourism. We're not seeing that bounce back uh, out yeah. of China no, it's dire. in terms of our tourism. We, 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 you know, there, 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 there are going to yeah. be economic anxieties and people are going to be looking to politicians saying, well, what have you done for me lately? Yeah. And, and the best you, national you can do is about? say, get pregnant, send your kid to childcare. Well, you know, I mean, again, this is the, the, the middle is where this is, uh, is, is won and lost. I think the problem for National has been that they have been constantly trying to fend off an act party who was devouring their rights with double-digit uh, poll readings. And by trying to out-act Act, they're spooking the middle. When Act came out and said ankle bracelets on 11-year-olds, National said ankle bracelets on 10-year-olds. Yeah. <laughs> when, 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 so, so there's constant fight over welfare and being very draconian on those things, playing to that. National trying to win back that Act vote. The problem is it's, it, it scares the bejesus out of the middle. And my understanding uh, from internal polling yesterday had Labour at 36 and National 32. Yeah. So National really does need to try and pull that centre back. Rather than and, redistribute and on the right with people who are already not voting Labour. That's right, that's yeah. right. There's no, there's no point in trying to take Act votes because that, that vote's already not going to Labour, that's right. All right, and, and, and woke to bloke seems to be working for Chippy. Well, I think it's... I don't know if it's woke the bloke. but Woke to bloke. Woke You're absolutely right because people are looking for competence and they're looking for solutions and they don't care about... I mean, New Zealanders are, are quite... We're not an ideological people. They, they're, they're not into ideology. They want, well, what am I getting? What's the actual end process here? Are things easier or not? And I think that Tippy's realised that, uh, and he's moving in that direction, and it's it's working. All right, so that is happening. What's happening with New Zealand First, do you reckon? I, I think they're in trouble. I think that New Zealand First, by ruling out Labour, uh, have, 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 have eliminated one of their strengths cut that they always play with, which is, yeah. will I, won't I, will I, won't I? I think that was a, a strategic blunder. But I also think that the, 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 the problem effectively for New Zealand First is events, dear, dear boy. Um, I mean, the, they're very much 
signed up and um, focused on making uh, Māori privilege their big election issue. Yeah. But post-Cyclone Gabriel, people are wanting, well, what are we doing about these things that are urgent in front of us right now, yeah. rather than theoretical arguments about who has water, who's doing this, too much iwi, blah, blah, blah. And I think that, that New Zealand first has a, a unique opportunity here to actually step up and say, we are the builders of the provinces. Yeah, we're, we're provincial growth fund. Well, Shane Jones kind of said that to make me. It Right, right. Yeah. They could absolutely sell that. And remember, the problem with that fund last time was that the state is just so incredibly snail paced and 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 and, and green lighting anything. It takes longer than three years. So they they want to throw money into the provinces, but the state's too slow. Yeah. So there is an argument they could be made here. But because they've invested everything into having a go at Māori, this, this election, I think they, they're going to zig when they should have zagged. It's like National is still fighting a campaign against Jacinda Ardern without realising that Chippy's the new Prime Minister as there's been a change of leadership. And I think Māori, I think, I think New Zealand first will try to play up the Māori race card, but I just, I think that issue is quite empty when you're looking at the level of rebuilding to our infrastructure that yeah. is actually driving most people... Yeah, I think there have been two game changes this year, and that has been the change in leadership, obviously, and Cyclone Gabriel, um, uh, Bomber, certainly have changed the landscape, um, you know, quite considerably. Of course, here at the platform, we march to the beat of our own drum. I just want I wanted to talk to a Liberal about the Tusiata Avia poem. Uh, the clock is ticking, nothing from the Human Rights Commission. It's due to be performed live at the Q Theatre, 7 o'clock on um, Thursday night. Do you Have you read the poem, Bomber? Yep, yep, yep. And what do you say? Uh, I, 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 the, my, my, my two views when it comes to public art is, one, is it any good? And two, we need way more public art, way more money pumped into arts, and I want to see more money into arts. In terms of this particular poem, is there any surprise that you've got an angry brown poem uh, raging against colonialism, raging against racism? Is any sort of no, poem no, it's not. It's does? practicing racism, Bob. It says, get in your car and go looking for any, any yep. white male. And, yep, kill and, and and the joy and the joy of living in a liberal progressive democracy is we have free speech. And we also have, I think, in the liberal progressive democracy, the intelligence, the emotional intelligence, to to understand the nuance between a Pacific oh, Island only poem. Only if we read right. the instruction manual, the poem should have come within the spin-off, written oh, by no, no, someone. I, I think, I think, I think any, I think any well-reasoned citizen would agree. Well, yeah, okay, that's fine. If you, I so, mean, so I, are you I, telling me, Bob? Are you seriously telling me that if you transposed yeah. white for black? or Polynesian for Pākehā, you flip that poem on its head, you wouldn't have Ming Foon on the front page of the paper saying this is racist and terrible and whoever said it should be cancelled. Well, um, one, let's see a, 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 a white poet uh, make All that right, poem. All right, I'm going to write that poem. I'm going to write that poem by Thursday. Right, okay, and, 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 but there's surely a difference between an actual poet writing something... No, I'm an actual poet. I can identify or... Bomber as whatever right, I do, and I'm right, actually a published right, poet. Right. You may not know it, but well, I am I, a published I, I, poet. I, I, well, that's a, skill, that's a skill set I don't know. You, 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 you knock yourself out. Yeah, but, but I, I won't I, ask for government even... funding for it, right? Well, if, but, if, but if we believe in free speech, as we do, yeah. as we do... Yeah, but it's not um, free. It comes with a price that I'm paying for as the taxpayer. She can write what the hell she wants. We, we, we need... Well, one, we need more money into the arts, so this is just the start. Two, um, I, I, I just think the, the, <laughs> the real crime here... Hold on, hold on. The real crime here is that it's a boring and fairly tedious poem. Oh, OK, That's so... That's the uh, actual crime. It's, it's, not, it's not particularly original... Uh, it sort of sounds like an angsty teenager. You roll your eyes a little bit. It's one step up, one step up from using unicorns, r crying rainbow tears level metaphor. Um, I don't think it's a particularly good poem, but then again, I also don't care if, if people take offence at that. If they take offence, good for you, but we live in a liberal progressive democracy and free speech is important. And we have hate speech laws and it fails under those. And we have a human rights commission that gives nothing to racism. 
And we have a Human Rights Commission that has a job to be a nuanced filter of these sorts of issues. And I think there's a world of differences there, not for, like, say, the counterspin duo or the anti-vax movement getting up and saying something incredibly violent and we want to go kill someone, and a poet saying it. I think there is a difference, and we, and we ask the Human Rights Commission to make that decision. Yeah. So this is, this is the system working. Yeah. I'm all happy with it. Yeah. Now, look, that's the last thing I want to come to, what I'm calling Rabbit Hole Radio, which I found yesterday is entirely owned by the three women who run Voices for Freedom. And they're uh-huh. setting up some sort of uh, weird radio station with Chantel Baker, uh, Peter Williams, um, a guy who's still working for us, which is a little bit curious, and Rodney Hyde. Um, and, um, boy, I don't know who's doing the news service for them, Counterspin. Isn't that an indication that their extremist views on the VAX are absolutely unacceptable. They've got to build their own media platform to speak about them. It's a fascinating development, and I think it really does speak to the polarisation of political debate uh, in this country going towards the 2023 election. There have been a whole bunch of changes, haven't there, in, in, in media of late. You've had the Joe Rogan effect, where effectively men are quite sick of being blamed as all of the problem with the news, and they've just gotten up and walked away as an audience. Yeah. And there are new political and a new media ventures that are feeding those new places. It's something like the platform, what you've created here, is a contrarian debate space where you can actually have the issues and hear about them uh, and the, for the, 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 the mainstream media sort of avoid and don't want to debate and connect with. But then you've also seen the splintering of the very far-right factions the really crazy, nutty, anti-vax fringe. And you see overseas, particularly Canada, Australia, uh, Britain, very much in America, this much more fringe movement that are creating a conspiracy web. And and, and, And it looks very much more focused on disinformation and, well, just and, lies. And just let's r- not r- use r- that, r- horrible, actual... that horrible well, well, academic but, but, term of but, disinformation. But it, let's just it, say lies and bullshit. That's what New Zealand is doing to speak. Well, that, 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 that's very much where it is, right? And, and I think that if, it, while we can always debate and argue issues, we all come from a position of 2 plus 2 equals 4. Yeah. On sites like this, 2 plus 2 equals whatever they say it equals. And I just think that that kind of media... And that disconnect from reality, which is really what it's about, that is dangerous to the political uh, debate. Well, that but it's about, hang on, Bobby, you just said you don't mind someone because you believe in free speech. Yeah, 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 absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. I do, I do, I absolutely do. But there are also bad faith actors out there, aren't there? And I would suggest that a lot of this anti vax stuff is very bad faith actor. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right. Um, what do you think will happen to it? Oh, can I be honest? I'm hopeful that a whole lot of quite irksome one-issue people with, with mental problems go and listen to them all the time. Well, I think that what you'll get, and, and certainly with the inclusion of Chantel uh, Baker uh, with that, you, you look at a lot of these um, these types of personalities online and they attract large audiences but they're only large audiences because they're on global networks. The oh, actual right. domestic support for this yeah. is, in- is infinitesimally smaller. And so they bring people like Chantel on so that her, 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 her much larger global audience yeah. uh, engage, with, uh, and engage with what she's doing. And that's why you get those big re- uh, numbers. Yeah. I'm like not even sure they're that very smart. Very uh, look, very it doesn't smart. look that professional to me. I'm not sure that it's even that smart, is it? Well, you know, well, you know, <laughs> if you believe that crystals heal you, how smart do you need to be? <laughs> That's right, Bobber. Hey, mate, thank right? you very much for kicking over the traps on this. The text suggests that many of our followers and listeners disagree with you. But it's a free country, isn't it? And, now, and, that, you, and that's the I, point. I imagine that's the you've point. got front row seats to, to start as uh, Savage Colonizer show, have you? <laughs> I've, 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 I'm not interested in it. I just think that this is all very... I have a great idea. Oh, I have a great idea for you and Damien Grant. You should get tickets. You should go and see it together. <laughs> and, and review it. And review it. That's just an idea for free for me. <laughs> 
or run it past them. All right, and also, did you hear, Bomber? Apparently, they approached Liz Gunn to be on Rabbit Hole Radio, and she turned them down saying they were too nutty. Wow! <laughs> That, that, I'm well, joking. There you go. That's there you satire. Go. That is satire, okay? I was joking. <laughs> All right, mate. Have a great day. That is uh, Martin. Cheers, buddy. You're right. Cheers. That is Martin Bomber Bravery. And interestingly, he says, yeah, things has, have changed. The political lam- landscape has changed.